And here's what it looked like. There's what it looked like when it came down the hill. So here we are on Washington 530 between Arlington and Darrington. There's a signpost here for an entrance to a community that was wiped from the face of the earth over 10 years ago. This is the infamous spot of the Ozo landslide. It's grown up quite a bit, but over there's the slide scar where that whole side of that hill gave way rushed down across the river came through here wiped out all the houses that were in there came across the road and into there that area over there there were people that were washed off the highway that morning i don't remember what the exact date is, but we'll look at that in a minute. But yeah, I think it's over 10 years ago. So here's a memorial. They planted these trees in 2014. One for each one of the victims. This slide was emotionally devastating for this community of Oso, Arlington, Darrington. This was the first memorial they put in here. Memorial trees for each victim. And later they built this little park over here. So let's walk over here. It's kind of emotional. Not gonna lie, we got mailboxes here. This is more part of the memorial. It was March 22nd, 2014 was when the slide was. They have address posts over there with the county address signs. They built this memorial here now. It's pretty nice. Lots of wild flowers. Ten thirty seven AM March twenty second, two thousand fourteen. Killed forty three people and destroyed an entire neighborhood. Eleven survivors on the first day. Community members and emergency responders spent four months on what they called the pile. There's the slide over there. It's quite a ways away, but it came all the way through here. Closed the highway for months. If you needed to get to Darrington, you had to drive the long way around through North Cascades Highway.
10th anniversary. what it looked like when it came down the hill here's the highway over here oh here's the highway sorry it comes around through here all this was wiped out this is where all the houses were There was a lot of finger pointing after this about logging above it and also criticism of why were these people living in a hazard zone? Well, nobody knew it was a hazard zone. Up to 75 feet in depth in some places. Wow. So that morning we were out driving around and we heard We heard on the radio there'd been a slide, which isn't that unusual for around these parts, but when we heard the extent of it, it was quite overwhelming. This is what those guys spent four months doing. But they didn't give up until every victim was found. what it looked like we were involved only limited wise after the fact we were astonished by the amount of outpouring there was a collection donation site set up and a business in Arlington the word got out we spent two full days working, helping people unload their stuff. Everything that was imaginable was donated. The biggest things that, that were donated that was important were the things that Red Cross and FEMA couldn't provide, like gas cards for the people that had to drive back and forth to haul stuff and equipment and fuel for the equipment chainsaws and chainsaw oil and that kind of thing it was quite something people 
donated the use of a hangar at the Arlington Airport for all the used clothes that were donated. A dumpster company came in with a covered dumpster that we loaded up for the community up in Dar Darrington to pass out. Diapers, water, food, everything you could imagine. It was quite something. This is the first time I've stopped here since. They did a nice job on this memorial. He's got a flag over there. All the natural alders, cottonwoods, and everything. They didn't replant this. This is all nature taking it back over. But there's a there's the slide, and that's how far away it was. And you can see the mounds out here. That wasn't. They didn't move the dirt around much. That's what the slide did slide deposits. So, yeah. Oso slide memorial. <laughs>